With a small and apparently meaningless collection of gadgets, Marconi received the first wireless message across the Atlantic. From that beginning, his unceasing efforts and experiments have transformed radio transmission into a huge industry, until there is scarcely a home in the world that is without its receiving set. Even a shipwreck has lost many of its terrors since wireless has been able to send a call for help. Later came the transmission of pictures. After the Mildenhall Melbourne flight, even our film of Scott and Black was wireless from Australia. Television has come to stay, although the reflection of pictures and sound across the empty ether still seems to belong to the age of miracles. Military, naval and air force operations make increasing use of wireless. Perhaps the most amazing of all is Britain's Queen Bee aeroplane, which flies without a pilot, entirely by radio control from the ground or a ship. In civil aviation, the lives of pilots and passengers frequently depend solely upon wireless communication. Weather conditions are reported. In fog, it is frequently the pilot's only guide to a safe landing. Of all the honors bestowed upon Marconi, that which he treasured most of all was the medal presented to him by survivors of the Titanic disaster. Altogether, Marconi has saved more lives than Britain lost in the Great War.